Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Great Britain campaign. And where we left off, we were attacking the territory of Newfoundland with this small force under Winston Holiday. And this is as part of my wider campaign against uh, the French. We're fortunately not at war with the native factions, which means that Quebec, Montreal and Fort Nashwack can be gobbled up quite easily. It's quite advantageous really, but let us not forget our mission to Captain Territory of Newfoundland, which will add another port, some more trade resources, and a farm and a village in, in time. But until now, we will be content with just attacking the French garrison and destroying them. And bringing them into the fold. I mean, it's quite strange that the native factions aren't... Well, at least the Iroquois aren't allied, allied with the, the French because they usually always are. But then again, I've not played a Britain campaign under the custom setting in Darth Maul, and custom does tend to randomise things a bit. Okay, so... I've got some Scots troops, and I will go and have a look at them. So, Scottish line infantry. This is from the additional unit mod. And they look similar to the Black Watch, but they look suitably different. But I think they look great. And this is one of the examples of why I love... A, I love the additional unit mod, because it adds so many more units. Certainly there might be a bit of a bias for some factions adding more than others. Um, but damn, I really like the idea of being able to have a, a Scotch... Scotch Brigade! Scotch Force! Um, ah, I forgot. This unit of line. So again... Two divisions, or two brigades, one going on the left, one going on the right. So the right brigade is going to be able to make up a lot of... a lot of progress. And my right brigade is to advance and secure... Come on, this hill. So my artillery is engaging. Well, they're not engaging, I suppose. Just pick a unit. You may destroy some houses. It adds, it adds to the uh, the battle, I think. A bit of destruction here and there. So let's push my men in, ready to surround and destroy that militia. This militia unit. We do have bayonets, and they likely will not, which means we will have the... Come on. It means we will have the uh, melee advantage. And these poor militia, imagine that. You're advancing, and then suddenly you see... Oh no. British troops. Oh no. Like, oh no. Oh no. Like, and then there's another set of colours comes cresting the hill. If you men don't turn and engage... Are they going to be smart and actually take position behind the wall? No, they are not. You men charge. These men advance. So they probably don't have bayonets. No. And they're against... Uh, one of the units they're against are my marines. So I do not expect them to do particularly well. Let's say some kind of fancy set of terrorist houses. It's the 14th Regiment don't really have a... Uh, don't really have a... dog in this fight. So the 3rd Regiment, so they're going down. Getting some free shots against my cavalry, it would appear. Charge through the town. Trading some some casualties of that militia unit. Whereas on the other fronts, we are more um, open to just storming through. So from their perspective, just a bunch of marines, their officers got their swords raised. 
So I'm pretty sure Marines aren't modelled as... Oh no, no. I'm pretty sure Marines are modelled as not having bayonets. But that's because when they get into the combat, so I suppose they switch to a sword. But I, I, I presume they still count as having... They still count as having the bayonets or the bonuses provided by them. So let's hit the, red, the 9th Regiment in the flank with our cavalry. Hold fire with my men. I will allow them to reload. They're inspired by active units, probably the general. They're losing a lot of militia here. One unit chased down the, the general, the other unit hit the militia. Actually, no, both of them go after the general, because it looks like these guys are going down pretty quick. Now they're set off balance. These men charge down the hill. Turn around and engage them, just to fix them in position. Yeah, some men have reformed. And you guys are going to turn around and hit them, except for the Regiment of Horse. You guys are going to go intercept the General. So you guys are going to go hit the Militia. I'm much more open to using my force in a much more melee heavy way when I've got such a clear advantage. Like I've got the, not just the quality, I do have the technology advantage as well. So my infantry are that much more effective. The 2nd Regiment being surrounded with five units of British line equipped with bayonets. Yeah, they're going down. Oh, the uh, Native Musketman Auxiliary. I forgot about those guys. Don't worry. There we go. These guys charge the native musketmen. Because they can't. They won't be able to stand. You men charge into the native warrior auxiliary. You caught hold of their general. So he will likely not be hanging on for too long. The warrior auxiliary is desperate to get into combat to save the general. But they've been intercepted by my infantry. General's bodyguard is being cut down, so where is the general? Where's that powdered wig wearing little fellow? I'm probably being blind, just not seeing him. I can't see him. I can't find him. Then again, lots of the colours of the staff and my Cavalry are quite similar. You men are wavering, they're down to 44 out of their original unit. Get my cavalry to charge the native auxiliary in the rear. Obviously, a militia unit's come back. Just, why change the strategy of the, the match? Just charge my uh, infantry into them. Especially as my first unit to engage a marines. I could engage with artillery, but where's the point? You forget who you're fighting, who you're shooting. These are not just any men, these are marines. So they're confident, become steady, become shaken, becomes wavering. Over the distance. Oh, they've changed their mind. 
Hey, my cavalry are routing. Did they get shot to bits? Probably something to do with it. But there we go, that's a victory for our forces. And it does mean we have to have a bit of a period of replenishment to bring our troops back up to strength. But we've secured quite a nice territory. So we can upgrade and replenish our men. No, not entirely replenished. Let's get into port. Well, that's 13 colonies, sorry. These men are sailing around. Newfoundland is providing 300 coins to the Royal Treasury. And it looks like the town is being it's going to grow in five turns. It's tempting to build it into a church school to generate a priest, which we can then start to proselytize some of these areas. Although, I suppose that's not necessarily critical, because we are about to capture some territory anyway. I mean, these guys can't leave, sadly. Anything more. Down to minus 10. Unless we get some uh, reset, some tech to reduce. Uh, plus one happiness, pretty good. Minus one happiness, minus one happiness. Okay. So Newfoundland is ours. Can we secure any new trade partners? I'm not trading Ireland for Iceland. Crimea, can we trade? Nope. Italy. You hate us, but sometimes people that hate you will still accept trade. Persia would be nice. What if I offer you carbines? Excellent. Venice. Again, if I try offer you carbines as well. Oh, too bad. I'm not going to give you any other technologies for that. Not getting any trade to Prussia, which is unfortunate. Okay. One more turn till we get flintlock cannons. I think the drill school will have been built in London. Yep. Let's hit end turn. And then that means we can speed on down to fire by rank. It looks like Austria is going to replace Prussia as the dominant faction in Central Europe, which means they will likely uh, they will likely be drawn to combat against us. See, now they want an alliance, and it's like no, no, I have no interest in drawing the ire of your enemies. Although, I may want Poland and Lithuania declared on us. Okay, now this is why we have allies. And they did all join us and no one joined Poland, which is big. No one left us as well. So now we can march our troops from Koningsberg east towards Vilnius. And then, again, attempt to try and make peace. Thirteen colonies are helping out their big bros by clearing out the pirates. I wouldn't sell too close to Quebec. Thirteen colonies, because there's a whole fleet there. Mughals are scrabbling to try and deal with the Marathas. At least the front has stabilised. Portugal is at war with Spain, so I might... Even though we're not allies with them, I uh, think it's probably worthwhile to try and give them something to try and keep parity with Spain, because they can just get stomped on very easily. And the pirates are going to pirate. So we've got a flintlock cannon, so that's perfectly timed the research to get fire by rank in five turns. Savoy has been destroyed and Westphalia has been destroyed. There's a little United Provinces Empire being established here. So what's our relations with? Friendly with the United Provinces. Let's give you a state gift of China. Then again, do I really want to take? I suppose I'm allied with. I'm allied with 
Sweden, so that keeps my northern flank secure, but that's quite a funky territory to try and hold. Let's get two more units of line, actually. Let's get two artillery pieces. So here in England we can get... Let's get some grenadiers to ship over to Königsberg. We've got two more fifth rates, which we're going to ship to... Maybe even the Americas to try and keep the ports open. To keep our trade lanes free. Probably get two set two fifth rates because that's what we can afford. Let's hop back over up to Newfoundland, replenish whatever we can with our money. Now we need three hundred. 300 to replenish that infantry unit. Let's get these ships back into port. We cannot yet repair. Which is unfortunate, but we can combine our troops. If I do that, just, just to combine them, then march them. That won't be bad. We'll get some good intel on what's going on in Montreal. Peasant farmland has been built in Rupert's land. Churchill will grow in 24 turns. Fleet arrives. Clarence Hutton. Fourth rate has joined them. Do I go... Wait, what's that called? Freebooter. Eh, someone else will go take them out. So you've got a fifth and a sixth. You've got three fifths. Let's go... Sail you here. Again in England, we do have Brunswick and Dragoons in line. Let's Troops, get these men aboard the sloop Achilles. Ship them off the coast. Villages, villages are not growing. We need to upgrade our farms then. Let's get you guys back to Greenwich. Let's take our sloop Orion and raid the French port of La Havre, because that's where all their income goes. Let's get our home fleet at Waterford to sail in and raid Brest. Trade gained Isaac Newton, military writer. That's their might. Okay, so something of a blade. So he's good at dueling. Industrial text plus two. I mean, Newton is just brilliant anyway. So if I swap you yes, over for Newton, As it you, learning and doesn't result in any material impact on our turns. William III, choir master, plus one plus prestige, plus one happiness, nobility. Good. Not a lot else I can do though. Let's hit end turn. Ah, our priest is back. To slowly convert the population. Austria is pushing the Prussians, the, the Polish back, which is good. God, the United Provinces is doing a lot of upgrading. Spanish have won. There goes Portugal. <laughs> Good job, we didn't just dump a load of technologies on them, because they wouldn't have... Probably wouldn't have turned the tide. You propose an alliance. No, because you're enemies with Russia and Austria. I do not want to uh, give Austria grounds to declare on me in Central Europe. Especially when you do stuff like that, Ottomans. That makes me scared. When you sail stacks of men around. Hopefully they're going to go and attack Austria somewhere. Ooh, the Marathas are... That's not good either. 
Yeah, we are at war with the Marathas. It's probably why we could also do with raising a force and go and land in India. A, it would help the Mughals out, and B, it would give the Marathas a target to focus on rather than sending frustrating raiding efforts against us. probably the best thing to do, I think. But if I build a force in England, A, it will uh, hedge our bets against the Ottomans stabbing us in the back of that fleet and landing troops near London. Yeah, there you go, the pirates. Pirates and go on a pirate. Brand Grand Bahamas fleet arrives. So Basil Brindley, first order of business is get down here and attack that pirate. Oh, actually, no, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sloop, where did those Marathas go? I want to say they went up here somewhere. I mean, they can't be up here, because that would be the fastest route would get them. Unless they're like up in this cloudy bit. So let's sail. Try to clear out the fog of war. Okay, I feel better knowing they're not there. So this army can now finish upgrading. We can upgrade the port. Whoa, that was funky. Uh, let's send... No. So they might, I, I swear they're up here somewhere. But maybe they're going to... Maybe they landed to go and take out the Inuit. So England has some grenadiers. Okay, let's pick up a couple of units of lion. Group. You men up together, let's take our army, less our militia. Drive east towards Vilnius. And let's upgrade our tenanted farms to try and get Memel to grow, because that would make our troop transfer much more efficient. Back over to the Americas. Let's get you, get my priest over here ready. Okay, now we can tax them, at least. Tax the Huron. Still can't leave because I'm minus 11 because we've now stopped taxing them. I do need to start doing that, really, with militia. You march on to Quebec. Let's upgrade... This farm. Bavaria has been destroyed. And Portugal has been destroyed. God damn, Austria. Okay, Prussia. We're very friendly with Prussia. Ooh, grenades, grenades give us lots of good techs. Okay, so if I give them military syllabus. Good. Because then that gives them the next... Um, that gives them the drill schools. They might actually be able to produce some better units. I want to kind of promote this war. You will get them closer to fire by rank, I accept. But I think that's probably a worthwhile trade. Got some lands, provincial cannon, demi cannons. Your Majesty. Yeah, we've not got a bad army. One more turn till... Ooh, hold on. Okay, so there's two three-star guys. Ministers. Treasury is zero and army is zero. Well, when they're three stars, they provide no bonuses and no negatives. So they're your first object, first target. So the treasury guy, let's try to punt him out. Oh, God. He's terrible. Okay. Um, can't do anything else. God damn it, Keith Stibbert, you suck. 
Okay, that's an objective for our next. Uh, that is that. That's the only target for our next um, ministerial appointment. No, I'm not going to outright ally with you, Prussia. But I'm happy to send you money. Let's see if they. Oh, they're not going to upgrade the barracks in Berlin yet either. Polish troops are withdrawing from Vilnius, which is handy. So, good. They've la they're going to sail and land them in Italy somewhere. Hopefully they're going to get repulsed. So on, onward goes Sweden. It looks like the United Provinces have lost some of their German territory. It looks like there might have been a, a revolt or rebellion of some description. Louisiana coming out to clear out the pirates once more, which is lovely. They require moving up, but they're not our enemies. That's quite a strong Mughal force. You should be able to use that to do some good. Might be good to try and pacify Corlin, just in case they attempt to uh, declare on us. It's a pity we can't do things like non-aggression packs they would be quite useful. Okay, so we've got Division of Labour, which means we've got a whole bunch of port upgrades, which are wonderful. Our fifth rates cannot intercept the pirates. Not in range. So the army at Newfoundland is still replenishing their last troop. So build one unit of Hessian line while you're replenishing. You... Don't go on to utilitarianism yet. Instead, go on to maybe improve animal husbandry to promote village growth. Ministers, you. So long, Keith. Yes, yeah, Zavi Xavier. Xavier! Hmm. So you can only fire one per turn. Still, better than the last one. Although our income's not great. I suppose because the Mughals and the Prussians are being blockaded. Yes, Keep marching on. Small force. Sir. And we've got to bear in mind there is an army here in the port. Uh, okay. But I think we definitely will take some of the money we're earning and upgrade one of the ports in England. Take two more of our ships and sell them to maybe to the Americas as well. Can we recruit one fifth rate this turn? Because I spent all my money. Cobbled roads and lots of government buildings. Good. So everyone sans militia. Can you leave Order. yet? Minus six. We're getting there. So I want my priest. Well, are you 100% Protestant? Yeah, you are now. Let's move you over up to the Montreal border. Looks like they are actually withstanding us, so there must be a, an agent here somewhere. We could take Montreal, but I want to hit Quebec first with my larger army, and then send this force up to go take Montreal and hit um, Fort Nashwak with this force, and then in one turn we'll have destroyed the French power in the region. Although they've got no troops. Okay, let's not send you in case you your lack of movement causes problems. We can leave the town. They'll just complain for a bit. Bark troops. Sell you down to land your men at Fort Nashwak. You guys garrison the port here at St. John's. Okay, good. 
It's all fairly positive. We can't do anything about the pirates because we're not in range. Yeah, we're getting a bit more of a garrison at London, which we which can currently hold position. I don't quite know what I want to do with it yet. Could probably do with recruiting more of a garrison at Königsberg. But you guys can push on and hit Vilnius. Um, but do I want to attack them? No, I think I want them to attack me. So I'm going to sat. I'm going to lay siege. And get fire by rank in three turns, which is great. Done all the recruitment. Our spy is in there. But yeah, chiefly I want them to attack me so I can use my artillery to support my troops with canister shot at close range. Okay, let's hit and turn. Ah, our sloop has come back from being sneaky sneaky. The French know we're up to something in North America, although they would have known for a couple of turns. Spain's going to go clear out the Barbary States. It has been discussed. I do remember one of my previous episodes, someone commented that I should look at securing a territory like Morocco to provide a good base Enemy to the south. Ah, they have sallied. All hands on deck. Um, so, just a bit of Morocco talk. So Morocco's got a full garrison. It'd be difficult for me to recruit an army to hit them. And I think if I did recruit a full army, I'd probably want to send it to India to try and interfere with the Mughal, the Maratha push north. But it looks like I'm going to fight a defensive battle. I'm going to want to use my cavalry strategically to deal with their uh, mortars. But apart from that, I think this is time to end the episode. So I bet you guys didn't think I'd be going even further into Eastern Europe. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the battle outside the walls of Vilnius. Cheers, everyone.